Hey everyone and welcome back to VFX Vibe once again. Few days back, I was going through my YouTube channel and YouTube suggested me one very good video to watch. And after watching that video, I have decided to recreate that work. So I am giving detail to that particular YouTube channel and I will recommend to follow that channel as well. So today's video will be inside Unreal Engine and I'm going to show you what will be my process of creating any project inside Unreal Engine. So this project will be in sequence like first we'll start with the blocking that scene. So after blocking my scene, I'll start putting my elements, which I downloaded from bridge. And after putting my elements, probably I'll need to do lighting, which is the most exciting part of this project. And if time permits, I'm going to show you how I have rendered my scene from Unreal Engine, right? So I'm pretty much excited to start this project and without wasting any time, let's get started. Okay, as you can see over here, my sequence is playing now. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to stop that sequence and to start this project, I'm going over here in new level and I'm going to start empty level. Now I'm going to save it. My I'm going to call it like uh, cave underscore YT, right? I'm going to save it and in Windows, I'm going to take environment light mixer and probably I'll start adding these stuffs like this, right? Pretty simple. And to start with, I'm going to create one plane and I'm going to reset it to center and probably I'll scale it to 15 or 10, whatever I want, right? To judge my scaling of the scene, what I'm going to do, I'm going to my content browser and you can easily see I have downloaded multiple assets, but in content browser, I'm going to characters and probably I'll go for mannequins and uh, meshes and probably I'll bring one mannequin over here so that I have a sense of scaling, right? Because the scene is going to be a very big scene, right? Like this. So what I'm going to do, I'm probably I'll, I'll select my plane and I'll scale it to 35 or whatever, right? Also, I'm going to add one camera so that a tentatively rough guide of camera I have like this. Probably I'll rotate it like this, like 90 degree. And I arrange it like this. Later on, we'll change it need not to worry. So this will be my setup and I'll start blocking things. So as you can see, I have a reference which I'm going to follow, but there will be my touch to it as well, right? So to block everything or anything, I, I always start with basic shapes like a cube. So probably I'll reset it to zero, zero, zero. And I'm going to start blocking things like probably inside. I want my mountains or some kind of cave structure like this probably and probably i can rotate it a little like this so this is just a blocking and i'll keep blocking my things like i'll duplicate it and probably i'll rotate it a little meanwhile i'm doing it i can check my camera angle as well so probably i'll i'll do this probably i can duplicate this as well and I can rotate it this way. I'll come back once my blocking is done. Okay. So that's how my blocking has been done. And now I'll start putting my elements. So what I'll do, I have multiple assets downloaded in my mega scan. And if I'm going to static meshes, so I have multiple assets, which I have downloaded for this project. And slowly I'm going to tell you how I have started this, right? So first thing first, I'll start with these big mountains or big uh, structures. So probably for that, I have this. So I'm going to drag and drop 
one of them and probably i'll uh, rotate it and probably i'll start with the uh, back side mountains like this and probably i'll put something like this and probably if needed i can scale it up let me check with my camera angle so yeah i need to scale it a little and probably i'll duplicate it probably if needed i can take another mesh as well so i'm going to do this something like this and probably i'll start blocking things and for this side i'm not going to repeat it probably i'll take this one and this is a huge one so i need to scale it down a little not little too much right so i'm going to reset it and probably point two and it's again it's big as well so point one probably yeah now i can start placing things probably i'll rotate it like this and i'm going to place it like this so by doing this much i am getting my shapes and now i don't need my blocking so i am going to delete it and probably i'll do this by arranging these elements i am going to complete my setup and i'll come back once this is done This is my all scene setup and what I have done, I have added one roof so that I don't want my environment light to come and affect my things, right? Also for ground, I have created this thing like probably you can see it. I added some rubble on ground and few small rocks on ground, right? And I have created this shape, right? So if I'm going to show you through my camera actor, so this will be my main camera and this will be my another camera angle this will be my another camera angle right so these kind of stuff i have added and what i'll do i'll start putting lights and before light i want to add my character to it right so to add my character what i have done i 
have my Unreal Marketplace. So probably I'll go over here and in library, if you can see, I have this character, which is free. You can go and add to project. So already I have done it. So I don't need to add again. You can see over here, I have a folder called uh, Ancient Golem. And here I have uh, meshes and in meshes, you can see multiple things, right? So I'm going to select these three and I'm going to drag and drop like this. So hit F on keyboard and you can see I have multiple things over here, right? So let me do one thing. Let me scale my character so that it will be appropriate, right? Yeah, it's pretty small. So I'm going to probably do it uh, like scaling like two or three might be. Uh, again, it's too small for me. So I'm going to rotate it like on uh, 90 degree. And I'm going to place it like this because I want to place over here. Right. So although I don't have my lighting, so if I'm going to go in lit mode, there won't be anything. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to add a light so that I can see what's going on. Right. So with this, I'm going to add over here and let's increase intensity so that I can see what's going on like this much and I'll, I'll lower it down and probably I'll use temperature to 3500 mostly. Now I can see I have something right over here and probably if you can notice my textures are coming pretty low resolution. So I'm going over here and I'll type a console command called R dot streaming dot pull size. Okay. So now what I'll do, I'll delete it and probably I'll reduce the intensity and it might possible. I'm going to use spotlight, which will come from top like this and it will be light, which will mimic my moon lighting. And in this light, probably I'm going to lower down my cone angle because I wanted a targeted kind of uh, lighting and uh, I'll go over here and probably I increase it so I can easily see my character is getting lit up from top and over here I'm going to probably I'll use uh, some temperature as well and it might possible I can add a little shan color to my this thing not greenish probably I'll use bluish shanish kind of stuff. And also in that particular light, I'm going to increase volume metrics, right? Probably I'll use uh, just to see 50 or five. Let me check 50. So it's coming a little lesser, but uh, I can increase intensity. It might possible. Let's see. Let's hit G on keyboard just to see what's going on. And slowly I'm getting my things over here, right? So let me go to my camera and probably I'm getting my lighting like this. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a setup of my lighting and I'll come back once this is done. Okay, so this is my final setup. So what I have did, I have added uh, multiple things like uh, once I added my character, I was not uh, feeling that how character will stand in the air, right? So what I did, I downloaded few assets from Pixel Bridge and I added these chains to him. And now you can easily see how it's looking fantastic how it's looking more believable also what i have done i have added few particles amber particles like this like which is uh, creating my scene more realistic like i can go over here and i can uh, check this if needed i can create one video on how i added this so after that what i have done i have created few smoke plates as well so you can see over here so if i'm going uh, down so you can easily see I have a card which having fog. Can you see that? So it's pretty basic, basic thing how I created. You can see I have few media planes and which I've created and I have incorporated as a fog system. If needed, 
you can comment down below i can create a detailed video so few i created over top and few i've created uh, over down so if i'm going over here you can easily see how my this thing my setup is looking like right pretty simple now if i want to render i can do it via sequencer already i have created one video on how to render or how to use sequencer so let me directly jump to my sequencer and let me show it to you what i have done right so i have created few camera cuts over here and if i'm going to see my camera cuts and if i'm going to play it you can easily see this is my first shot and this is my second shot which is a close up shot which you can see and now this is my third shot and this will be my fourth shot right if needed i can add few more shots but i hope in this video i have kept it very simple and just i have showed you the way or my workflow of doing it if needed i can create a detailed video from doing my scene setup for doing my like lighting and for doing my camera animation or doing adding uh, niagara particles if needed please comment down below because that video will be i think more than an hour video if you need that much detailed video please do comment and definitely i love to create each and everything from scratch right so i hope this video will help you to understand the way unreal works and this will help you to understand how i work so i will request everyone to go and support rayan's channel and hope he will inspire many including me as well right so i hope this video will be very helpful to you and if you think that this video is helping you please don't forget to like this video share this video and if you are new to the channel please don't forget to subscribe with this said this is wfx vibe signing off Have a good day.